And hey, hi, welcome back, Alexandrian Codex, Banner Saga 3. We are really coming up close on the end here. Uh, we might have an hour or two left. I think I have to rest. Part of me just really wants to power through this, but fucking everyone is injured. I need to rest. <laughs> I need to rest. I know that the world doesn't actually end when this ticks down. We just go back to Arboring and things get a little bit worse. Two, three, I'm not happy about this, but I think it's the reasonable thing to do. Okay, let's just get all these people out of here, and then I will reassign you as needed when we run into shit. So we got, what, two days left? I'm uh, pretty sure we're not going to hit the White Tower by then, but we can try. Well, we'll get a bit further. Not actually gonna make it all the way to the tower, I think, in a day, but... Well, we almost made it without having to go back to Arborang at all. But that would have been absurd. Any of you taste the distillery meat? Spar blurts out in the middle of a deep and oppressive silence. You're all some grim company lately. I could really go for some distillery right now. Others mumble in agreement, but someone passes around something strong enough to spread around. Soon, they're all trying to one-up each other with what they're going to do when they return to Arboring. Listen to the stories. <laughs> As you all know, I don't drink. Always smirks to a couple of laughs, but I know a place back in Vor's Guard that make you glad to be sober. Then you haven't tasted Yorulf's blessing, Ollie. Sigbjorn interjects. I'd kill anyone here for another sweep. He trails off. Didn't you already get three ravens killed over it? Spar slings back. Sigbjorn grows quiet. What about you, Falka? This ditch asks me, she thinks for a moment. I want to go to that place Ollie was talking about. More laughter. Bunch of animals, Falgard sighs. I'm going to put Strand back together? See who finds their way back. Come on! T H E R E. This is T H E. This is the wrong form of there. Come on. <laughs> I had a home there. And friends. He gives Ollie a stern look. I have a brother in the Arborang, says Mokin. My twin. Didn't have a chance to leave things right. Now I'm regretting it. The Ravens toast to regret. Noticing a stoic silence, Spar points at Krumer and starts shouting random guesses. I know what the mighty Krumer needs. A beast. A longship. A throne made out of fallen bows. Krumer snorts at the last one. <laughs> no, but if you wrote a song about that, I wouldn't correct you. You don't think the dredge traveling with you understand what's being said? That's probably for the best. Ditch manages to slip in an opinion between the body chatter. I, I always wanted to. He quickly gets drowned out by others and slowly mumbles to his <laughs> Give me a pile of coin when this is all over. Big it up for me to sleep on. Percy says, been working for others my whole life. It's very thin. Think I've earned some easy living. Several ravens toast to this. Ivan musters the courage to speak up. When this is done, I'll keep my main mouse. Keep my feigned mouth shut. Ollie hollers over him, and the others roar with glee. Ivan's smile vanishes, <laughs> but even trying to relate may have brought him some goodwill. Box says nothing, but everybody can tell he's thinking about spears. My silent protector, Spar quips. He looks at you. What does the great Ingvar dream of in his sleep? Never meeting you bastards in the first place. 
Is it too late to change my answer to that one? Ollie chirps. The others snort, throw rocks at Ollie as they continue on, the tower growing ever closer. Really, that didn't improve morale? I mean, it doesn't need improving, but it seems like the- Ah, uh, okay. Okay, fine. Zero! <laughs> Why is it warmer right here? Why does this part look different from the rest? This is... Hold on. Soaring shards of smoky glass just askew from the ground as it flung here. At first, it looks more of the inner earth's strangeness until you realize these are splinters of the black sun. Images reflect off the mirrored surfaces, creating an illusory army of ravens as you walk through. Right? Says Falka. Didn't think I could play to hate this place more. Now there's six a bitch. The nauseating, sweating warmth still radiating from the fragments has everyone eager to pass through, except Ivan. He stopped at one, with his hand pressed against the glassy surface, looking at his own reflection. Come on, Ivan. It's time to go. I hardly recognize myself. Could be worse. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to compare. The reality of what I must do is sinking in. We're getting close. Ivan stares out into the distance. Now it's not the time for second thoughts. We're such a long way off. There is more time. Time for what, exactly? Ivan sighs heavily. You know revealed it already, but there's something you may not have fully grasped. Something she forbade me to tell you. You worried it might change things. No more secrets. The only way the black sun will return to the sky is for Juno to seal the darkness within. So she has to stay there. Trapped. For eternity. A fate worse than death. It was my fault. All she's done since is fight tooth and nail to make things right. All she's ever done. You can see anger spreading across Ivan's face. It looks as if he's drawing energy from the sun shard. What if there's another way? Even with the sun broken, there must be enough energy here to destroy the serpent. That might... it might be enough. Killing the serpent even fix things. I don't know, but I'm certain it will come for us again. There's nothing else for it to do. Why shouldn't I try? Why shouldn't I keep asking for permission? Ivan, think of your friends in Arbore. Ivan's mouth becomes a thin line. Some of the fire in his eyes go out. I know. I apologize. My thoughts have always been difficult to control ever since birth. Mother was the head of the Valka in her time. If she had a boy, the council was worried. Males of our kind have always had a touch of madness, varying degrees. Father couldn't contain his own. Suppose, suppose that kind of power would be hard for anyone. It's a curse. I'm only alive at all thanks to Juno. She's kept the power within me from spilling out. And she spoke to me in a dream and I heard talked. I wasn't even sure it was real. I'd gone so long without her help I was starting to lose control again. Everything she's done to heal me, the bad she suffers. Can you imagine feeling so powerful? So weak at the same time. I can imagine. Ivan nods as Volka approaches the two of you in a huff. You've gone with your little cry yet, you sad baby. Ivan steps away from the stun shard with a scowl on his face, returning to where Juno awaits. That one's got problems. That's coming from me. It's still hard to imagine those two falling for each other. You think so? You don't? Oka laughs as she punches you in the shoulder. I can see why you wouldn't get it, Faro. It's not just the one arm you're missing. Every girl in the world wants a boy to promise he'd give her the sun and the stars. Imagine having the one man who actually pulls the sun out of the sky for you. Oka looks almost embarrassed with herself as you head back to the caravan. Okay, loading. And back to Arbore. <laughs> Gotta buy more time.
darkness lurches above the dome of light, stretched thin above a city by the menders waving fast stitches. Riots ripple through the slender spaces between. People pack tightly together, and the warp wicked at your defenses, testing them. Finally sinks in now just how many dead rest in Arboring. This is really the beginning of the end, isn't it? You breathe. Oh, no. Whatever. I got the voice wrong, whatever. Aelio says, the longship's finally sinking, so to speak. All's left to do is bail till her arms grow weak. Feel those old, nagging survival needs scratching at your thoughts. Food, shelter, water. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the market, buy some supplies. Nah. Here's... We do. We're doing fine, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing we're doing fine. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the dream team up here. By that I mean promote Alette because she's a god. And by that I mean promote Alette because she's a god. And by that I mean promote Alette because she's a fucking god. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, do I want to give her puncture? Maybe. Definitely neither of those. The buy stubborn. I actually stubborn. Yes, and it's sweet. Yeah. What the foolish? Oh, well, she's foolish, maybe, but she's also a fucking god. With her range and her knockback and her strength, she just destroys everything. Let's go to a funeral! They came from all parts of Arborang, carrying the dead. An enormous longship, he won't be needing it anymore, was hoisted onto the Black Rock Plateau. Never mind the hassle, this is tradition. Arranged within the longship, many hundreds of bodies rest, ready for the afterlife, ready for peace amongst the stars. The struggles are over. You hear all this from the orator declaring the last rites, preparing to set the longship ablaze. You remember those who traveled with you to Arborang. You've never seen so many dead in one place. You hope to never see this many again. Despite the tragedy, this is a reassuring moment. There can still be dignity in death. Even in these circumstances. The fires are lit, special bundles laid along the ship's edge tint the flames in different colors. A gleaming rainbow rising toward the sky, a bridge for brave souls. You imagine the shift drifting out to sea as fires burn low. A solemn audience begins to pile stones and soil atop to form a traditional tumulus. Uh, raise a feast to honor the dead? One tradition deserves another. Even in these grim times, especially now, a celebration is needed. Drinking begins immediately, and the feast grows throughout the day, reminding you of older, happier times. Even the menders on the wall are given flagons. Forty round, hell yeah! Time to level a let up more. Ilio puts his hand on your shoulder. His eyes are red, some combination of drinking and grieving. There's a smile on his lips. I can only imagine how hard this all must be for you. Never had the privilege of meeting your father, but I've heard incredible things about him. I think he would be very proud of you right now. Right now? Why? Where I look, I don't see the dead. I see all those who live on instead. Elio stands quietly beside you, deep in thought. You can't help yourself from rhyming, can you? Ilya looks slightly embarrassed, as if you caught him indulging in a vice. I'm sorry. I don't mean to come off as disrespectful with what I said. I have a hard time putting it to bed. When I was a boy, my grandmother was a famous seer in our small town. I was in awe of her. She claimed the gods never died. They still spoke to her. Others would come from far away to hear the fate or feel close to them. Sometimes I would listen through the wall to the amazing things she told these people, even though it was forbidden. She knew, before she died, she told me a secret. She said she made it all up. I got upset. I called her a fraud. But she explained that just because she made it up doesn't mean it wasn't real. The stories we tell are just as real as all the things we see and feel, she said. Then she died. I remember those last words clear as bell. I began to make up stories of my own. 
Eventually, it became hard to not see the world as a story. You're always writing one in your head. When I felt afraid or upset as a child, it helped me imagine myself as someone else reading my story. Like the gods were looking down and seeing that I can create things as well. Anyway, I'm sorry about all the rhymes. I'll try to keep them more inappropriate moments. Aweo stands quiet because it's time we moved on. I suppose we must. Lender shouldn't be left alone on the walls. There's already murmur spreading through the clans of not enough food to go around. Sometimes it feels like too much. The true hero comes reluctantly. Though we move on now with shuffling feet, our hearts will forever be incomplete. I'd give Aweo's poetry like a solid out of five it's unremarkable <laughs> not to be mean just kind of eh well I have some renown so I'm just gonna go in here and regen armor yeah why not just, uh, boop, 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 boop. perfect perfect all right Plus 3 strength, minus 1 armor, plus 15% crit per adjacent enemy. I don't really plan to have a lot of enemies adjacent to a wet, but, well, making it better. Uh, the menders or outskirts? Menders, right? The menders are probably the more important thing going on right now. Menders are spread out evenly along the walls, each overlapping the light generated by the next. Guards with distant expressions stand watch between them. Around their feet are piles of orc dredge and men alike. So, you you can return to Arborang, I think, three times before you run out of extra time. Each time you return to Arborang, things get worse and worse and worse, so the ending you get gets a bit worse every time you have to come back to Arborang. Ideally, you never would have had to come back here at all. But, here we are. This is kind of, nothing bad happens this time, but from here on out, shit starts getting worse and worse and worse. It's starting to scale over the bodies on the other side of the wall, says Zephyr. Some small disgust in her voice. As if to prove her point, a mender yells when more warp rise into view. Hurry, beckons Zephyr. That's good. <laughs> Guy had a very bad time. I honestly, I think I'm gonna stick with this team because whatever. I have so many backup people in Arboring. I have a gratuitous amount of people in Arboring. Ah, well, this is a rough starting location. We warped away from the Menders. Easier said than done. Uh, probably pretty easy said and done. So, Alette doesn't go nearly as soon as I would have liked, but let's start her up right here. The reason I'm starting Alette so far forward is I'm going to use Overwatch. Yeah, I should have moved things so that Alette was first up. You know what? Nope, oh, rest. Ah! A warped horseborn! <laughs> it's very cool. I kind of hate it because I would prefer there not be terrifying horseborn, but it's pretty neat. Now we're resting. Nope, we are resting. I should have put a wet at the start of the order. This was a big mistake on my part, but it's working out. Student, just rest. Alright, alright. Right. I'm calling a mulligan on this. Because <laughs> I intended to have her first and then forgot about it. And then got her one shot. Oh, do I have to do that entire bit again? Please. Stop. Yeah, go to the menace. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine. The only difference, only thing I want to change is let goes to the front of the line. That's it. That's much better. 
Quatsch. Hey, keep, keep them away from the Menders. The Menders actually aren't in any danger, strangely enough. What I want to do is put the left right here, put the right next to her, and right here, run off back here. So first thing I'm going to do, fucking walk forward, screaming, I dare you, into the void, overwatch. Come at me, man. Not too far back, fair enough. <laughs> oh, you you wanna take your turn? Sure, yeah, go right ahead. If you can. Oh, deflected. You got me there. Here. Here, turn around. You have very high armor. Let's see if I can do something about that armor. Yeah, fuck your armor. Nope, what? You are still on Overwatch or F. The rest of you right here. Bye. Uh, I want Hakon to move just one step forward. Not quite close enough, so this has to move and get shot. Don't know. Nope. <laughs> this, is, this is incredibly cathartic. Really, I should just have a let with a bunch of archers. The rest of the archers just pelting down people with armor to make it easier for her to just continually knock them back. Uh, do I move up with you? I... Yeah, move up one. Overwatch. <laughs> They're learning. Damn it. They're just skipping their turns. That one's dead. And then, I'm gonna take a bit of a dive here and killing this one. Hopefully nobody's super aggressive in pursuing you, but would happen. Can you swag and burn right here? No, sorry, not swag and burn. That's not my one at all. Rain of Arrows is exactly what I want to do that. Goodbye. Let this walk on up. Overwatch. Nope, you don't move. No one moves. Good, I'm glad there's two stack. I've been a little disappointing if the effects then if were not cumulative. <laughs> I have all these big tough companions I'm doing nothing with. Grudge, nah, just hang out. Carl, just hang out. It's fine. Yeah, next time, assuming we have another fight with this group, 
It's Alette and Archers. Just Alette and Archers and that's it. That's, that's doing it for me. Thing that's taking long is that I ooh, I haven't been paying close attention to that at all. They're going to get reinforcements. Ah, actually, maybe not. Probably they'll get reinforcements, but they may not. Actually, with loot and I should not have walked up here all the way. Uh, let's try big stick. Yeah, just... That was a crit. That was a terrible crit. Okay. No, what I want from you is slag and burn, and I would like a couple ranks of it. No, they get reinforcements. That's fine. I'll stick around for this. Behind me, Alette can handle it. Ah, oh, behind me and to the left of me and the right of me. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Well, Alette will just take a step right over here and continue overwatching. That'll be fine. I should have been a little more aggressive. Find things out a little differently, but that's okay. Things will be fine. You get knocked back. The, the core mechanics of how this work remain unchanged. Step up, you get knocked out. I'm surprised that didn't hit. What's that? Well, that's okay. not doing enough strength to knock you back anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could have thought of that. Because she got hurt. She does not do enough damage anymore. So Alette can fight off one wave by herself. Fight off every wave by herself. Close. Not quite, but close. Luden was an unnecessary casualty here. <laughs> yeah, eh, it's fine. It's fine. We won't be coming back here again. In what, two of like 20 people or three of like 20 people being injured? Oh no, what will I do? If only I had like a million other people I could use future combat. I'm most worried about our ravens, because the ravens, they don't have a million people to throw around. I have a few, but not quite so many as I have in Arboring. To me, Arboring seems like a done deal. More or less guaranteed to be a win. Uh, 
I should have stood armor with at least one of these people. Oh, there we go. Better late than never. He's gonna really need the kill. No, no one in this group really needs any kills, though. Yeah, that would have gone much better if I had accompanied Olette with a full group of archers, or at least mostly archers. Archers and spellcasters, maybe. Ranged units, all the same. Because I was doing a lot of wasting time there. Sometimes I have to wonder about humanity. We're barely holding the walls and all the clans can manage to do is rob and kill each other? Captain, my menders need more protection on the walls. You have as many men as we can spare, Barbara. The rest are in the streets. Barbering isn't worth saving if only killers and thieves remain. Even if my father were here, he'd have little control over the city now. I have even less, but I'm certain I can find men loyal to my father's banner. Put me in command on the walls. Are you certain? I cannot guarantee safety here. If there's a time for me to lead, it's now. They look to you. You realize that whoever is put in charge of walls may be in serious danger. Luden. Yeah, stepping up. Walls are yours, Luden. Your father would be proud. My father was a lot of things, but proud of his son? It's not one of them. Send word to loyal men, keep them understanding. And that's it. One fight. One tough decision that might have consequences, but I think... Now we go back to Ivor's group. Right? No, outskirts. Right, there's stuff to do in the outskirts. Damn. Not done yet. Part of the city smolders since the riots. Matching the mood in the lower rings, supplies are scattered, impossible to tally or portion since the funeral. Hoarding seems necessary for the future, and you're afraid other clans in Arboring feel the same. You over here grumbling amongst the clansmen. Those most happy to feast to the dead are the ones feeling remorse now. Nothing else? You should set the precedent from here on out, Elio suggests. Very obvious. Combine and ration the remaining food, or send armed forces to pillage what they can from other clans. I'm taking a combine and ration. Trust overcomes. Some are relieved to place that burden on you, others insistent on keeping a watchful eye on the stockpile. Six whole days! Six days for Ivor to get hopefully done with what he's doing. Got 20 minutes, Ivor. <laughs> I, there's such wit with the game left that I'm just streaming it to get through it at this point and recording it to get through it. I'm just going to say it. Sparbrosis. I'm starving. And I don't mean it as an expression. I'm so hungry, I might die. The caravan is getting precariously low on food. Nobody cares to drink the water that pools in dark crevices. You're feeling it yourself. The stone singer seems to understand, though you've never seen them eat anything before. Scraping a hard, bell shaped object from the cliff walls and handing it to you it with a motion like opening a book. Huh. I think it was just more craggy rock, Spar says, taking the thing. It was a hard obsidian shell, but once cracked open, a strikingly bright pink plant resides within. Squishy to the touch. Looks like a mushroom. Doesn't smell strange, or displays the same warped weirdness everything else does. Seems to be quite a few more clinging to the cliffside. So who's going to try first? Spar wonders aloud. Um... Step up and take a chance. It tastes like a mushroom, but slightly sweet. A couple minutes later, you're actually feeling stronger, a bit more energized. The others cautiously gather handfuls and eat as much as they dare. You swear the caravan moves a little faster than before. Good. <laughs> Keep 
the Thrand Company, Alfred beckons during a short rest, patting a lonely rock at the caravan's edge. Innocent enough, but you see ulterior, ulterior motives on her face, brighter than the white tower in the distance. You have something on your mind. <laughs> you, Ivor. It's funny. I should hate you. Many sculptors are my friends, and you are the one who they tell their children to fear. But I don't hate you. The more I know about you, the more I like you. Is that really what you wanted to talk about? Straight to the point, I've been a Juno. They trust you, don't they? I wonder if they've earned your trust. Do they have yours? Of course not. Now Juno, she may be weaving little truths, but step back. Look at the whole tapestry. They wield terrible power. Perhaps you've noticed. It's exactly why they made the Order of Menders. Ah, look over here. We're only healing the sick, building houses. Pay no attention to the madmen on ivory towers, turning the world inside out. I considered it. Come closer. I then created a vain immortal. Can you comprehend? Juno cannot die. That wasn't their goal, was it? Was immortality without power? Misery. <laughs> I think they're trying to make a god. To make themselves gods. Don't tell me you believe they've come so far just to undo it all. What are you implying? Not to sit back and let it happen. It should be clear. Say nothing now, I'm not asking you for promises. But time will come, and soon, I think, when you'll see the truth unfolding before your eyes. When that time comes, look to me. Trust your instincts. Juno and Ivan are not the only ones who know how to twist the threads. I will make certain what they do, what they claim to be doing, is what is done. Got to live here too, you know. The ending does feel a bit drawn out. Alright, okay, I'd like to get to the tower now. No, okay, we're gonna talk more with people. Cool. I, I do like all the characters, but... <sighs> all these little events aren't doing much for me. A distant rumble approaches, and all the things that can be raced through your mind. Someone shouts, Earthquake! Is the ground bucks beneath your feet. Violence, shaking, peel... Violent shaking peels rock sheets off the nearby cliffs. They crash around you in great billowing clouds of dust. Is everyone alright? You shout in the aftermath. No, I recognize you from somewhere, Valgard shouts. He's swinging at Ollie with clenched fists. This bastard tried to push me into the falling rocks. Is a confusion, a dust clear. Frustrated ravens are letting off steam with chance of fight. Uh, no. You absolutely cannot fight. What is this about? Ollie murdered a warlord in Strand back when I was guard captain. Never got the chance to thank him for all the good friends who were killed as a result. Liar, Ollie retorts. I've never been to Strand. You're both lying, Juno interjects in a dark mood. Ollie traveled to Stand where he did ignite the war, but no one was pushed towards the falling rocks. And if you both went to keep your history in the past, both men pale from Juno's icy words, realizing they can keep no secrets. That earthquake was no coincidence, Ivan says, changing the subject. Same as when the serpent carved chasms through the earth above. Be on your guard. Okay. Would like to be at the ivory tower now, as all good academics do. <laughs> these glyphs were home for Reg. Yes, as before. Why do you ask? Because I'm starting to see a lot of movement ahead. Oh good. This time, the shifting shadows in the corner of your eyes are real, ahead and behind. The others have noticed that and are quietly pulling blades, flickering like a school fish as you press together. They're warped everywhere ahead, clustered together to slow your progress and more dots of the horizon. So close, says Valgar. You know his frustration. Charge and break through the crowd. What are you waiting for? You shall push through. I mean, why not, right? 
So I'm gonna go with either Castaway. Do I do I really wanna take the strongest people in on this? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's take level nine, level nine, level nine, level nine, level nine, level nine. That'll do. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So ditch will go first. None of you are really great tanks. That's okay. It's fine. I'll make it work. I will make it work. Do you know before Ivan? Falka, you can get promoted. Delightful. Oh, what do I even want from you? Lucky shot. Sure. Yeah. Go with that. <laughs> Is it actually what I want? I don't know. Ali. Prince Ali. What is he? Ali. Juno. Can you be promoted? No, you cannot. Well, Juno. You know. Dumb joke. Dumb joke. Alright, ready. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Okay, there's no timer. We just have to fight through this. We don't have to pull off any miracles. Good to know. Don't have to be quick about it, but I want to be quick about it, so... That'll be a helpful motivator. God, tear down its armor. Not just everybody draining focus willpower. That's fine, and everything else. Oh no. I don't mind at all. What goes next? This, not a danger. This, not a threat. This, mild threat. This, not a threat. This, mild threat. Uh, move in front of her. She'll count as an adjacent ally. Bloody flail on you. Guess we're just going after armor. That's fine. Ollie. Ollie boy. Buddy Fuego, same deal, go. Okay, now you can even get a kill. Let's have Juno right run up here, confuse you. Yep, grab you. Go hurt something for me. Thank you. Kill something for me. Delightful. Ivan? Still gotta keep adjacent here, I think. Hey, no, don't, don't actually have to be adjacent. Cool. Arc lightning on you. Get shot. Well, it's not as much damage as I was expecting or wanting to do with Ditch, but it's something and I'll take it. Bloody flail on you. Better. Better and better and better. You're gonna be at a distance. You're quite frustrating. Bloody flail again. Who does the most damage? You! <laughs> do the most damage, so you are nominated for being mind-controlled this time around. Uh, let's just shock this. Ah, actually, there we go. Ivan can get a kill here. Lightning, and then lightning. Shocking. Not going to 
stop anything from happening, but... Overwatch. God damn it. You know what? No, fuck your armor. I'm not running to you. Okay, well, that changes nothing. Get confused. Go kill this. Aha! <laughs> Friendly fire. Awesome. Now, are you also going to hit? Yeah. I kind of didn't realize that Overwatch kept going. That's pretty stupid, I should have. Well, you two are gonna have a bad time. Nobody's going to die quite yet. Quite being the optimal for the keyword there. <clears throat> oh, you were quite annoying. Just throwing all kinds of bullshit in my direction. That's dead, at least. It's probably not going to end up being worth it. Green, ha! Uh, is it worth it? No, god no. Green is definitely not worth it. <laughs> that is absolutely not worth it. this go away. Fantastic. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there with you. You do a lot of annoying fucking damage, don't you? Zap it, why not? It's armor again. Uh, and then Ivan can run in and do a fucking hit and some damage, but then again, it's going to be too weak to kill anyone. There, fuck up. We got an injury. No promotions? Ah, that's okay. Ditch, as per usual. Got pretty beat up on. Yep, no surprise there. <laughs> Bunch of renown. I'm just gonna throw into random promotions. But let's keep going. It feels like we're pretty close. The war they're becoming more relentless. Seems to be more and more of them. Spot arrives, rubbing at his sore shoulders. You nod. Must mean we're getting close. Hopefully, like, within a day. <laughs> if not, then we go back, and it's fine. Dwarf dredge bodies ornament the hill like... ...inhalations? Some sitting or slumped, all dead. What happened here? Grunts Volgar, pushing one over with his foot. Uh, 
you do not have time for this. Oh no, uh, hundreds can be seen from the hilltop. They look suspiciously arranged. This wasn't a battle, Volgar continues, noting the same. Do you and Ivan have nothing to add? Wait, what if it's some kind of warning? Some danger ahead? Suggests Ditch. I don't know or care. Let's get out of here. Raynum. All he adds, putting a bookend on the conversation, you leave the bodies to the resting place. The white tower that looked like a toothpick when I first saw it now soars above our heads, dwarfing any structure made by kings or wall. Come on. Come this on. is where our troubles began. Come on. And with luck, where they will end. Oh my god, are we going all the way back to Arboring now? Oh, sorry, we got to the White Tower. Uh, son of a bitch! <laughs> if our ring story is written on a tapestry, the edges are becoming frayed. The menders are dying. A few to the wart, to the stray arrows and mad revolters, one to exhaustion. Zephyr pulled them back to the next set of walls. The noose tightens. Not everybody survived the scramble to safer ground. You can see, lurching beyond the bodies of the fallen, just beyond the black veil. Gone. Not dead. Hey, Hogan. Hogan has propped himself up on a shield to keep from slumping over, but he stands as you approach. Don't stand on my account, looking rough around the edges. Speak for yourself, I'm fine. He looks a little embarrassed about snapping at you, looks into the distance. Do you ever think we'd make it this far? Not in us to quit. I guess that's why they're still listening to you. Could have gone a lot of different ways. But just checking on how everyone's doing, I appreciate the concern. Nothing to worry about here, though. Hogan goes back to staring quietly into the darkness. Nothing you want to talk about. Tired of talk. Tired of fighting. Just tired of survival. But the gods have done this differently. Why make us eat and fear and hate? Nothing stopped them from taking it all away. Smarter people than me haven't answered that one. Fear feels like we're struck in a bear trap. I'm tired of it. Hogan goes back to staring quietly into the darkness. How's your family? Hanged by a thread, Hunter. Hanging by a thread. Who is it? All I can do is make sure they eat, don't get killed in their sleep. I can't keep them safe. What kind of a man would I be? I know what you mean. Listen, I know what you've been through. All my words are coming out wrong. Don't take it to heart. What do you think is on the other side of the darkness? Warped everything coming out of it. Doubt the land's any different. You worried about Mogan? I don't want to talk about it, but there it is. The damn fool I am. Never should have let him lead. Love my family. It's not like I love my brother. Shame to say it, but it's the truth. It's killing me. I keep watching the darkness, expecting to see him walk out of it twisted and bloated. Can't sleep, can't stop thinking about it. Damn it, I should have said something instead of being a prideful idiot. What'd you do? Get some sleep. I just, I can't stand the thought of missing. Look, it's good advice. You might be right. I'm starting to confuse what's real, what's not. Hogan goes back to staring quietly into the darkness. Why don't you have your peace? Take care of yourself. Like I said, don't worry about me. Maybe I look rough, like you said, but I'm not going anywhere. Not while I can stand. Commons wall houses. Commons wall houses. I don't know which which is which. So, commons? A vivid crowd of horseborn confront each other. You recognize Canary and Durdryu among them. Their hooves away victims of the spat. Canary is waving her javelin threateningly. You can't be certain what has sparked it this time or who's to blame. Convince Canary to put her weapon down. Canary seems confused at first, as if expecting you to take arms with her. She hurls her javelin into the ground in protest. You pull the crowd apart until the only thing you being thrown are insults on the wind. You never do find out what happened, but such luxuries are less and less within reach. Black soot billows from ramshackle shelters and is spreading to bigger buildings. 
at an alarming rate. Fire! This the shouts confirm. Sounds him right, you overhear Varl say, watching from a safe distance. You realize he's talking about Revis loyalists who scramble to save their own things from a fire they probably started. Brave hearts join you, creating a chain of water buckets. Water you doubt you can afford to lose, and worse, you don't seem to be making much progress. The fire continues to spread. Cut your losses and retreat. This is beyond your control, and you're starting to learn how to live with that. Even Rogus men give up and cut their losses. Flammable debris is dragged out of the fire's path. Eventually, it burns itself out, but not before taking whole streets with it. Oh, that could have gone better. And meanwhile, on the wall. Come quick, says a bloody guard. He leads you up to the wall, to the menders, worse for wear. The warp pulling out of the darkness are still mostly dredge, but now you recognize more and more of them as Arborang's clansmen, turned into t nightmare creatures. Where is, you begin, noticing a pile of dead guards and a panicked mender holding his light against the approaching warp. Here! shouts Luden. On the other side of the mender, he approaches with armed men. Haven't lost many menders yet. We've been fighting them off all the way down the walls. They're coming up a lot faster now, he stabs through lunging work. And here's more, he shouts. <laughs> and here's more! <laughs> okay, this time. This time. This time. Archer. 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 Just do this. One heroic title available. I could level this up for 15. That's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I kind of want... You know what? There's probably an achievement related to it. Nope. Alright, well that's disappointing. <laughs> Canary, your lowest level. Let's promote you. Mm, yeah, wow. Canary really did need some help. Uh, da, 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 da. Oddly, if you have knockback, great nid, you have knockback? You do? Awesome. Or nid, does it not? Nid, why don't you get this? We'll apply poison, which is pretty dope. Canary, you have... Plus one to all talents. Okay, I guess that's fine. Nah, plus three to all talents. Give you that. Plus one to all talents. Now let's have plus two to all talents for third Ryu. Much better. Nothing with knockback. Yeah, let's give this a try. Well, I'm gonna put in a cut here. I'm gonna keep streaming until this shit is over. We're very close to the end, but just keep timing things slightly off. So if you're watching this on Twitch, still going. If you're watching that on YouTube, yada yada, stop by again tomorrow, etc, etc, etc. Till then, toodaloo.